if you followed the written instructions uh, in the assignment sheet, you should have arrived in a new ARC project that is named and saved to a place that you've specified. And the user environment that you're going to experience is set up and looks like this. It's, you know, welcome to ArcGIS Pro. Uh, the default mode goes ahead and includes a couple of different layers here, and you're going to see the, the world topographic map and then an underlying hillshade map, which is just a projection of, you know, uh, a vertical relief, so elevation relief. Um, and, and again, this this is allows us to go ahead and, and pan anywhere on uh, planet Earth and basically go ahead and take a look at um, those basic characteristics. What this video is really intended to do is, as the first of a series of videos, is I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to the user environment. And so a couple of things that you need to get comfortable with as we get going on, or get going into this. One is, is that these tabs up here at the top are extremely important for using uh, ArcGIS Pro. This is where, uh, you know, combine this with some additional tabs that exist down here uh, on this side of uh, the screen, right? This is where it starts to get really complicated in the user environment and why I'm creating this video to just walk you through the basics of how to get started. All right. So there are some major things that I want you to pay attention to. One is the Explore tool. And so if you're looking to just start to view, you know, look around the map, this is where we begin. So click on the Explore uh, tool. And what it's going to allow you to do is with your mouse, you can go ahead and zoom in, zoom out. If you hold down the left button, you can go ahead and pan anywhere in that environment. This should feel fairly comfortable and fairly uh, similar to uh, how you pan and zoom in ArcGIS Online. So. In addition to that, the other things that do exist here is, is that there is a button that allows you to go full extent. So full extent takes me out to the entire extent now uh, of the data behind this. We have a world data layer in, it jumps me all the way out to the entire globe. What you're actually seeing here is you're actually seeing one of the major projection problems. And so this is a cartography issue that geographers work with all the time. The only thing you need to know is, is that every single data layer you bring into a GIS system has a specific projection. And that projection means is that how they have taken a 3D sphere, the planet Earth, and turned it into a 2D map object. If you start finding misalignment, putting parcel boundaries down that, you know, run over the top of people's houses or don't line up with your aerial photograph, you have a projection problem and you're going to have to work that out before you can use that data. But with that in mind, what we're really up to here is, is that I want to go ahead and teach you how to some of the basics of using of the user interface. So amongst those right here is, is that anytime we zoom in and zoom out, one of the nice features they've added to it. I mean, other than full extent, you can zoom in and zoom out and you can back up to previous views here. But really, bookmarking is one of those things. And so, uh, actually, I've gone ahead and created this already. But anytime, anywhere in the, you know, as you zoom in and around, you can actually set up new bookmarks. And so one, I could set up a new bookmark and say, you know, I need a bookmark that is the mid, er, that for the United States. And so what this will allow me to do is that no matter where I've panned off to, I can always come back and grab my bookmark and it'll bring me back to that map. You can see I've set up a couple of others. I can zoom into Indiana. I can zoom into Indianapolis. And then in addition to that, these bookmarks also work as I go into base maps and I go ahead and change out the base map. And in this case, I went ahead and dropped in an aerial photograph. Um, and again, you can see that this is a streaming aerial photograph. Um, but you can actually, you know, zoom in and the resolution is pretty decent uh, in this environment. You can certainly find aerial photographs with better, but this continues to be uh, one of the best sources of high resolution and, high, you know, easily available aerial photographs that exist out there. Uh, Esri continues to update this world imagery with the best available. And so this is a, a real resource for you. I'm going to go ahead and just jump back to topographic view. I'm also going to go ahead and go to my bookmark and jump back to Indiana real quick. Um, we're going to be talking about the add data button uh, in, in, in the select features in a few minutes. But the other thing that you should know is, is that the measure tool exists here so that you can figure out from the state line to Lafayette. Uh, was 72.4 kilometers and so I could actually go ahead and set that up in miles just by changing that out here and it's about 46 miles. Uh, in the old days when they used to not sell beer uh, on Sundays in Indiana that was the uh, 
the quick trip across the Illinois state line uh, was your only way of getting beer for uh, Sunday football. And so um, anyway, uh, that's an important uh, feature to be aware of and know about. And, and, and there are many, many, many other buttons that exist up here. I'm trying to highlight some of the major ones. Uh, we will be talking more in a minute. But the other thing that I will tell you right now that's mentioned in your handout is, is that the catalog pane that exists over here, the catalog pane actually can allow you to go ahead and access data. And so I can go ahead and access the geo database where all of the data that I will be importing is actually stored for this. And so you can actually see it's like a Windows Explorer specifically for ArcGIS information. And we'll be talking more about that in future videos. The other things that exist up here on the other tabs, the new map, new scene, right? All of these buttons here, this is like creating a new document within your overall project. And what will happen if I click on that and tell it I want a new map, is it will actually go ahead and add another map uh, tab right here for me. And I, will, I can actually have multiple maps open um, at the same time within a single project. There's some good and some bad that comes with that. Uh, it, you'll just have to kind of get used to that's how they've gone ahead and approached it. And again, I'm having some issues right now just with the, the computer slowing down and not, not bringing that up. I'm going to go ahead and hit pause real quick while that goes ahead and works, its, works through those issues, and then I'll come back. All right, and there's really just one last thing I want to show you in this uh, user interface introduction, and that's just what happens when you start losing features. And so if you go in and you actually start closing out your table of contents or accidentally close out your catalog, or uh, you can see here that I've got that map that I created here a second ago, so that I've got two maps going on. What happens if I accidentally close both of those out? Well, you're still actually in your project, and and you, but nothing's here. So... What you'll need to do in that situation is you actually have to go back into view and you have to go back in and reset your uh, maps or reset your panes. And so your contents pane, your catalog pane just came back up. Um, and what we should be able to do over here is, is that we should be able to go ahead and... Oh, sorry. I had to go into maps. Uh, we should be able to go ahead over here and actually just go ahead and click on... Uh, our maps and bring those back up um, and we should be able to then go ahead and use all of our features again zoom out to the state of Indiana uh, zoom out to the United States again and away we go this is how the project user interface is organized um, and hopefully this will help you get comfortable with just kind of the basics of uh, working in this environment